Manila. Manila, officially the city of Manila, Filipino, Lungsod in Manila, locally, is the capital of the Philippines, and its second most populous city. It is highly urbanized and as of 2019 was the world's most densely populated city proper. It was the first chartered city in the country, designated as such by the Philippine Commission Act 183 of July 31, 1901. It became autonomous with the passage of Republic Act No. 409, the revised charter of the city of Manila, on June 18, 1949. Manila, Mexico City, and Madrid are considered the world's original set of global cities because Manila's commercial networks were the first to extend across the Pacific Ocean and connect Asia with the Spanish Americas. When this was accomplished, it marked the first time in world history that an uninterrupted chain of trade routes circling the planet had been established. Manila is the second most natural disaster-afflicted capital city in the world after Tokyo. It is among the most populous and fastest-growing cities in Southeast Asia. The Spanish city of Manila was founded on June 24, 1571, by Spanish conquistador Miguel López de Legazpi. This is regarded as the city's official founding date, however, a Tagalog-fortified polity called Manila had already existed on the site, dating back as far as 1258. It is the name of this old polity from which the Spanish and English name Manila derives. After the defeat of the polity's last indigenous Raja, Suleiman III, in the Battle of Bankasi, a fortified Spanish city called Intramuras was built directly on top of the site of Old Manila. Manila was the seat of power for most of the country's colonial rulers and was known as the Queen City of the Pacific. It was one of the three oldest royal Spanish cities in the Philippines in the Spanish East Indies, along with Iloilo and Naga. Today, it is home to many historic sites, some of which were built during the 16th century. The term Manila is commonly used to refer to the whole metropolitan area, the greater metropolitan area or the city proper. The officially defined metropolitan area, called Metro Manila, the capital region of the Philippines, includes the much larger Quezon City and the Makati Central Business District. It is the most populous region in the country, one of the most populous urban areas in the world, and is one of the wealthiest regions in Southeast Asia. The city proper was home to 1,846,513 people in 2020, and is the historic core of a built-up area that extends well beyond its administrative limits. With 71,263 people per square kilometer, Manila is the most densely populated city proper in the world. Manila is located on the eastern shore of Manila Bay, on the island of Luzon. The Pasig River flows through the middle of the city, dividing it into the north and south sections. The city comprises 16 administrative districts and is divided into six political districts for the purposes of its representation in the Congress of the Philippines and the election of city council members. In 2018, the Globalization and World Cities Research Network listed Manila as an alpha global city and ranked it seventh in economic performance globally and second regionally, behind Delhi, India in the latter case while the Global Financial Center's index ranks Manila 79th in the world. Etymology Manila, the Filipino name for the city, comes from the phrase Manila, meaning where indigo is found. Nila is derived from the Sanskrit word nila, which refers to indigo, and, by extension, to several plant species from which this natural dye can be extracted. The name Manila was probably bestowed because of the indigo-yielding plants that grow in the area surrounding the settlement and not because it was known as a settlement that traded an indigo dye, indigo dye extraction became an important economic activity in the area only in the 18th century, several hundred years after the Manila settlement was founded and named. Manila was eventually Hispanicized into Spanish as Manila. Manila Plate depicting the Nilid plant, Cyphifera hydrophilacea, from Augustinian missionary Fray Francisco Manuel Blanco's botanical reference, Flora de Filipinas. An antiquated, inaccurate, and now debunked etymological theory held that the city's name originated from the word Manilid, meaning where Nilid is found. There are two versions of this false etymology. One popular incorrect notion is that the old word Nilid refers to the water hyacinth, Icornia crassipes, that grows on the banks of the Pasig River. However, this plant species was only recently introduced into the Philippines from South America, and therefore could not have been the source of the toponym for Old Manila. 
Another incorrect etymology has arisen from the observation that, in Tagalog, Nilid or Nila refers to a shrub-like tree, Cyphifera hydrophilacea, formerly Ixora manila blanco, that grows in or near mangrove swamps. However, linguistic analysis shows that the word Manila is unlikely to have developed from this term. It is unlikely that native Tagalog speakers would completely drop the final consonant slash D slash in Nila to arrive at the present form Manila. As an example, nearby Bacor still retains the final consonant of the old Tagalog word Bacud, elevated piece of land, even in old Spanish renderings of the place name, for example, Bacal, Bacor. Moreover, the historians Ambetho Campo and Joseph Baumgartner have shown that, in every early document, the place name Manila was always written without a final slash d slash. This documentation shows conclusively that the main Nilid etymology is spurious. The misidentification of Nilid as the source of the toponym appears to have originated in an 1887 essay written by Trinidad Pardo de Tavera, in which he mistakenly used the word Nila to refer both to Indigofera tinctoria, true indigo, and to Exora Manila, which is actually Nilid in Tagalog. Early 20th century writings, such as those of Julio Naquil and of Blair and Robertson, then simply repeated the claim. Today, this erroneous etymology continues to be perpetuated through casual repetition in both literature and in popular use. Examples of popular adoption of this mistaken etymology include the name of a local utility, Manilad Water Services, and the name of an underpass close to Manila City Hall, Ligas Nilad, meaning Nilad Pass. History? Main Articles History of Manila and Timeline of Manila Early History The Laguna Copperplate inscription is the oldest historical record in the Philippines. It has the first historical reference to Tondo and dates back to Saka 822, circa 900. Battles of Manila Battle of Manila, 1570 Battle of Manila, 1574 Battle of Manila, 1762 Raid on Manila, 1798 Battle of Manila, 1896 Battle of Manila, 1898 Battle of Manila, 1899 Battle of Manila, 1945 See also Battle of Manila Bay, 1898 Around Manila Battle of Bankasi, 1571 La Naval de Manila, 1646 BTE The earliest evidence of human life around present-day Manila is the nearby Angono petroglyphs, dated to around 3000 BC. Negritos, the aboriginal inhabitants of the Philippines, lived across the island of Luzon, where Manila is located, before the Malayo-Polynesians migrated in and assimilated them. Manila was an active trade partner with the Song and Yuan dynasties of China. The polity of Tondo flourished during the latter half of the Ming dynasty as a result of direct trade relations with China. The Tondo district was the traditional capital of the empire, and its rulers were sovereign kings, not mere chieftains. Tondo was christened under the traditional Chinese characters in the Hokkien reading, Chinese, P-H-O-I-G, Tong Tu, Lit. Eastern capital, due to its chief position located southeast of China. The kings of Tondo were addressed variously as Panganun in Tagalog, Lords, or Panganun in Murnau, Anak Banwa, Son of Heaven, or Lakandula, Lord of the Palace. The emperor of China considered the Lacans, the rulers of ancient Manila, or kings. In the 13th century, Manila consisted of a fortified settlement and trading quarter on the shore of the Pasig River. It was then settled by the Indianized Empire of Majapahit, as recorded in the epic eulogy poem Nagrakratagama, which described the area's conquest by Maharaja Hayam Viruk. Salurong, a historical name for Manila, is listed in Canto 14 alongside Salat which is now Sulu, and Kalka. Salurong, Manila, together with Salat, Sulu, was able to regain independence afterward, and Sulu even attacked and looted the Majapahit province of Po Ni, Brunei, in retribution. During the reign of the Arab Emir, Sharif Ali's descendant, Sultan Bolkiah, from 1485 to 1521, the Sultanate of Brunei which had seceded from Hindu Majapahit and became a Muslim, had invaded the area. The Bruneians wanted to take advantage of Tondo's strategic position in trade with China and Indonesia and thus attacked its environs and established the Rajanate of Manila, Kudasiludu, Kota Selyudong. The Rajanate was ruled under and gave yearly tribute to Brunei as a satellite state. 
It created a new dynasty under the local leader, who accepted Islam and became Raja Salalila or Suleiman I. He established a trading challenge to the already rich house of Lakandula in Tondo. Islam was further strengthened by the arrival of Muslim traders from the Middle East and Southeast Asia. Spanish period. 1734 Map of the Walled City of Manila. The city was planned according to the laws of the Indies. Ayuntamiento de Manila served as the city hall during the Spanish colonial period. On June 24, 1571, the conquistador Miguel López de Legazpi arrived in Manila and declared it a territory of New Spain, Mexico, establishing a city council in what is now the district of Intramuros. Inspired by the Reconquista, a war in mainland Spain to re-Christianize and reclaim the parts of the country that once fell to the Umaway Caliphate's rule, he took advantage of a Hindu Tondo versus Islamic Manila territorial conflict to justify expelling or converting Bruneian Muslim colonists who supported their Manila vassals while his Mexican grandson Juan de Salcedo had a romance with a princess of Tondo, Gandarapa. Lopez de Legazpi had the local royalty executed or exiled after the failure of the conspiracy of the Maharlikas, a plot wherein an alliance between Datis, Rajas, Japanese merchants and the Sultanate of Brunei would band together to execute the Spaniards, along with their Latin American recruits and Visayan allies. The victorious Spaniards made Manila the capital of the Spanish East Indies and of the Philippines, which their empire would control for the next three centuries. In 1574, Manila was temporarily besieged by the Chinese pirate Lim Hong, who was ultimately thwarted by the local inhabitants. Upon Spanish settlement, Manila was immediately made, by papal decree, a suffragan of the Archdiocese of Mexico. Then, by royal decree of Philip II of Spain, the city of Manila was put under the spiritual patronage of St. Pudentiana and Our Lady of Guidance, spurred by a locally found sacred image, i.e., a black Madonna of unknown origin, one theory is that it is from Portuguese Macau, another is that it is a tantric goddess and this was worshipped by the natives in a pagan Hindu manner and had survived Islamic iconoclasm by the Sultanate of Brunei. This image was interpreted to be of Marian nature, and it was found during the Miguel de Legazpi expedition and eventually a Mexican hermit built a chapel around that image. Manila became famous for its role in the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade, which lasted for more than two centuries and brought goods from Europe, Africa and Hispanic America across the Pacific Islands to Southeast Asia, which was already an entrepot for goods coming from India, Indonesia and China, and vice versa. Silver that was mined in Mexico and Peru was exchanged for Chinese silk, Indian gems and the spices of Indonesia and Malaysia. Likewise, wines and olives grown in Europe and North Africa were shipped via Mexico to Manila. Because of the Ming ban on trade leveled against the Ashikaga Shogunate in 1549, this resulted in the ban for all the Japanese to enter China, and for Chinese ships to sail to Japan. Thus, Manila became the only place where the Japanese and Chinese can openly trade, often also trading Japanese silver from Chinese silk. In 1606, upon the Spanish conquest of the Sultanate of Ternate, one of monopolizers of the growing of spice, the Spanish deported the ruler, Sultan Seddin Burkett of Ternate, along with his clan and his entire entourage to Manila where they were initially enslaved and eventually converted to Christianity. About 200 families of mixed Mexican Filipino Spanish and Moluccan Indonesian Portuguese descent from Ternate and Titer followed him there at a later date. The city attained great wealth due to it being at the confluence of three great commercial exchanges, the Silk Road, the Spice Route and the Silver Flow. Significant is the role of Armenians, who acted as merchant intermediaries that made Europe to Asia trade possible in this area. Most specifically, it was France first trying to finance their Asian trade with a partnership in Manila through Armenian coaches. The largest trade volume was in iron, and 1,000 men of iron bars were traded only in 1721. In 1762, the city was captured by Great Britain as part of the Seven Years' War, which Spain had recently become involved in. The city was then occupied by the British for 20 months from 1762 to 1764 in their attempt to capture the Spanish East Indies, but they proved to be unable to extend their occupation past Manila proper. Frustrated by their inability to take the rest of the archipelago, the British eventually withdrew in accordance with the Treaty of Paris signed in 1763, which brought an end to the war. An unknown number of Indian soldiers known as sepoys, who came with the British, deserted and settled in nearby Kainta, 
Rizal. Spanish cannons on a fortress wall in Manila, circa pre-1900. The Chinese minority were then punished for supporting the British, and the fortress city of Intramuras, initially populated by 1,200 Spanish families and garrisoned by 400 Spanish troops, kept its cannons pointed at Binondo, the world's oldest Chinatown. The Mexican population was concentrated at the south part of Manila, and also at Cavite, where ships from Spain's American colonies docked, and at Ermita, an area so named because of a Mexican hermit that lived there. The Philippines host the only Latin American established districts in Asia. When the Spanish evacuated Ternate, they settled the Papuan refugees in Ternate, Cavite which was named after their former homeland. Tutuban Main Station, which was built in 1887, is the main terminal of the Ferro Carl de Manila Dagupan, now known as the Philippine National Railways. At the present moment, it serves as a shopping center and a public transit hub. The rise of Spanish Manila marked the first time in world history where all hemispheres and continents were interconnected in a worldwide trade network. Thus, making Manila, alongside Mexico and Madrid, the world's original set of global cities, predating the ascent of modern Alpha++ class world cities like New York or London as global financial centers, by hundreds of years. A Spanish Jesuit priest commented that due to the confluence of many foreign languages gathering in Manila, he said that the confessional in Manila is the most difficult in the world. Another Spanish missionary in the 1600s by the name of Juan de Cobo was so astonished by the manifold commerce, cultural complexity and ethnic diversity in Manila he thus wrote the following to his brethren in Mexico. The diversity here is immense such that I could go on forever trying to differentiate lands and peoples. There are Castilians from all provinces. There are Portuguese and Italians, Dutch, Greeks, and Canary Islanders, and Mexican Indians. There are slaves from Africa brought by the Spaniards, and others brought by the Portuguese. There is an African Moor with his turban here. There are Javanese from Java, Japanese and Bengalese from Bengal. Among all these people are the Chinese whose numbers here are untold and who outnumber everyone else. From China there are people so different from each other, and from provinces as distant, as Italy is from Spain. Finally, of the mestizos, the mixed race people here, I cannot even write because in Manila there is no limit to combinations of peoples with peoples. This is in a city where all the buzz is. Remesal, 1629, 680 to 1. After Mexico gained independence from Spain in 1821, the Spanish crown began to govern Manila directly. Under direct Spanish rule, banking, industry and education flourished more than they had in the previous two centuries. The opening of the Suez Canal in 1869 facilitated direct trade and communications with Spain. The city's growing wealth and education attracted indigenous peoples, Negritos, Malays, Africans, Chinese, Indians, Arabs, Europeans, Latinos and Papuans from the surrounding provinces and facilitated the rise of an illustrado class that espoused liberal ideas, the ideological foundations of the Philippine Revolution, which sought independence from Spain. A revolt by Andres Novales was inspired by the Latin American Wars of Independence as the revolt itself was led by demoted Latin American military officers stationed at the city, from the then newly independent nations of Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Chile, Argentina, and Costa Rica. Following the Cavite mutiny and the propaganda movement, the Philippine Revolution eventually erupted, Manila was among the first eight provinces to rebel and thus their role was enshrined in the Philippine flag where Manila was marked as one of the eight rays of the symbolic sun. American Period The 1905 Burnham Plan of Manila recommended improving the city's transit systems by creating diagonal arteries radiating from the new central civic district into areas at the outskirts of the city. The Trinvia running along the Sculta Street during the American period. Aerial View of Manila, 1936 After the 1898 Battle of Manila, Spain ceded Manila to the United States. The First Philippine Republic, based in nearby Bulacan, fought against the Americans for control of the city. The Americans defeated the First Philippine Republic and captured its president, Emilio Aguinaldo, who declared allegiance to the United States on April 1, 1901. Upon drafting a new charter for Manila in June 1901, the Americans made official what had long been tacit, that the city of Manila consisted not of Intramuras alone but also of the surrounding areas. 
the new charter proclaimed that Manila was composed of 11 municipal districts, presumably Bonondo, Ermita, Intramuras, Malate, Paco, Pandacan, Sampaloc, San Miguel, Santa Ana, Santa Cruz, and Tondo. In addition, the Catholic Church recognized five parishes, Bigalangan, Trozo, Balak Balak, Santa Mesa and Singalong, as part of Manila. Later, two more would be added, Balut and San Andres. Under American control, a new, civilian-oriented insular government headed by Governor General William Howard Taft invited city planner Daniel Burnham to adapt Manila to modern needs. The Burnham plan included the development of a road system, the use of waterways for transportation, and the beautification of Manila with waterfront improvements and construction of parks, parkways and buildings. The planned buildings included a government center occupying all of Wallace Field, which extends from Rizal Park to the present Taft Avenue. The Philippine capital was to rise at the Taft Avenue end of the field, facing towards the sea. Along with buildings for various government bureaus and departments, it would form a quadrangle with a lagoon in the center and a monument to Jose Rizal at the other end of the field. Of Burnham's proposed government center, only three units, the legislative building and the buildings of the finance and agricultural departments, were completed when World War II erupted. Japanese Occupation and World War II Further Information, Battle of Manila, 1945, and Manila Massacre USS Essex TBF-1 Avenger dropping a bomb over Pasig River in Manila targeting the dockyard, November 14, 1944 The destruction brought about by the Battle of Manila in 1945 during the Japanese occupation of the Philippines, American soldiers were ordered to withdraw from Manila, and all military installations were removed on December 24, 1941. Two days later, General Douglas MacArthur declared Manila an open city to prevent further death and destruction, but Japanese warplanes continued to bomb it. Manila was occupied by Japanese forces on January 2, 1942. From February 3 to March 3, 1945, Manila was the site of one of the bloodiest battles in the Pacific theater of World War II, who? Some 100,000 civilians were killed in February. At the end of the war, Manila had suffered from heavy bombardment and became the second most destroyed city in World War II. Manila was recaptured by joint American and Philippine troops. Post-war years and the martial law era, 1945-1986 after the war, reconstruction was made. Buildings like the Manila City Hall, Legislative Building, now the National Museum of Fine Arts, and Manila Post Office. The roads and other infrastructures are also rebuilt. In 1948, President Elpidio Carino moved the seat of government of the Philippines to Quezon City, a new capital in the suburbs and fields northeast of Manila, created in 1939 during the administration of President Manuel L. Quezon. The move ended any implementation of the Burnham Plan's intent for the government center to be at Luneta. With the Visayan-born Arsenio Luxon as its first elected mayor in 1952, all mayors were appointed before this, Manila underwent the Golden Age, once again earning its status as the Pearl of the Orient, a moniker it earned before the Second World War. After Luxon's term in the 1950s, Manila was led by Antonio Villegas for most of the 1960s. Ramon Bagatsing an Indian Filipino, was mayor from 1972 until the 1986 People Power Revolution. During the administration of Ferdinand Marcos, the region of Metro Manila was created as an integrated unit with the enactment of Presidential Decree No. 824 on November 7, 1975. The area encompassed four cities and 13 adjoining towns, as a separate regional unit of government.